Hey everybody, it's Paul Stevens here with iGo Sales and Marketing, and I've got another tutorial for you here today. So we're going to leverage the power of Sweet CRM, and we are going to set up a fairly straightforward workflow. Um, but hopefully, after we set that up, you see the power of using workflows to make your life easier. Um, set up my advice, set up one at a time, uh, get it working set up another one, set up another one, and before you know it, you're pretty much doing what your CRM tells you to do, <laughs> which is kind of where I'm at these days. So, um, and that just makes everything flow properly, things get done every time, the right way, the way you want them to get done, and you just follow the rules, <laughs> okay? So, um, I'm gonna get started on that in a minute. Uh, just wanted to uh, apologize for the long delay since my last video. Uh, you can imagine with the pandemic that um, you know a lot of people trying to get online. I also build websites. I do digital marketing. I do CRM. Uh, so I, I just been crazy busy the last year and a half. <laughs> Um, and haven't had a whole lot of time. Plus, I just uh, put online a new video uh, lesson for Introductory to Sweet CRM, and I spent a whole bunch of time making those videos. Um, so I'll put a link to those in the uh, comments below if you want to uh, sign up for a full uh, Sweet CRM course. It's 99 bucks, and it takes you through everything you need to know as a new user. Um, it's not focused on the admin side, but on the how to use it on a daily basis for a sales rep. So it's a great value. There's you know a whole pile of lessons, about, I don't know, 10, 10 or 15 hours of content, uh, plus text and tests and all kinds of stuff. Um, so check that out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to uh, mention here is at the end of this, I'm also going to put a link to uh, the screenshot of the workflow setup. And I have a, a blog article that I just wrote recently. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different ideas, uh, most of them I use uh, as well, uh, for uh, automation in Sweet CRM. And um, so I'll put a link to that as well below. Okay, so enough of the announcements. <laughs> Let's get started here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, gonna organize my screen a little bit here, minimize myself down. Hopefully I'm not in the way here. Uh, move myself off to the side. Okay, so um, we've got Sweet Serum going here. Let's get started. All right, so what we want to set up today is when a new lead is entered into Sweet CRM, um, we're going to want to schedule a call for ourselves. Okay, so this saves a bunch of time because what do you do when you get a new lead is you know first thing you surf through your list of leads you see which ones are new and then you investigate them and then you set up a call reminder and it, it takes a lot of time and you can just do that automatically and when you see it, that you have a scheduled call pop up uh, in your call reminders you just do it okay <laughs> all right so how do you set that up okay so um, I took a screenshot here of my uh, setup in Sweet CRM, and then I'm going to walk you through how to create this. Okay, so um, what we're going to want in the workflow is anytime a call, uh, uh, we're going to want to create a record. Okay, we're going to want to create calls, and we want the subject to be a lead intro call, and we want to relate that call to the ID, which is the ID of the lead. Okay, uh, the duration of that call we want to be, let's say, 15 minutes. Okay, these are all values that you need to set up in a call. Okay, the start date is the date created, so that's like now, plus uh, one hour, let's say. So it'll schedule the call an hour from now. From now, um, if you want to schedule it tomorrow, you can do that as well, plus one day, uh, whatever works for you. Um, and you just want to really have a start date uh, assigned to the call. Okay the end date it'll figure out automatically because the duration is 15 minutes uh, assigned to I'm gonna assign this one to myself but there are various options here for assigning this to um, you know other people or round robin or least busy um, there's some various options here next we're gonna want this to be status uh, planned okay um, because obviously the call is not held yet the contact 
that's related to the call. We want to be the contact ID, okay? Um, and the direction of the call is outbound. And the parent type, so what is all this related to? The parent type is the lead, okay? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set that up. All right, so I'm just gonna move this guy over to my other screen here and keep it for reference so I remember what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, all right, so I've got a demo environment set up here and um, we're going to just go through and set that up. Okay, so we're gonna go to our workflows and I've got it right here, okay? And then we are going to want to create a workflow. Okay, and let's call this new lead, whoops, follow up, okay? And then I like to put a description for my workflows just because um, you know, when you start to have 20, 30, 40, 50 of these things, you really want to remember uh, what it's for without having to go and look through all the logic and, and remind your memory, okay? So um, schedule a call when new lead created, okay? So um, we the workflow module this is going to go in is going to be leads, Okay, so it's going to kick off when certain things happen to leads, obviously when a new one is created. So we want this to run always and we want it to run on new records. Okay, um, so every time that uh, a new record is created, this is going to run. Okay, and we do not want to run it on repeated runs. Okay, because we only want it to run once per record and we want it to run once when the new record is created, okay? Um, so, uh, I would also add a condition here just so that if you create a lead, like let's say after you've contacted them, <laughs> you don't schedule another call. Um, but I would say lead status is equal to new okay so that's your condition so any new lead that is created and the new stat and, and the status is equal to new and that that'll be pretty much every lead unless you physically change it to something other than new okay so I also have um, on my website I've got a web form and when people fill out the web form it automatically pushes the lead into sweet CRM okay so Based on that, it creates the lead, the status is new, and it's gonna, it automatically creates a call for me. Okay, so that's kind of what we wanna set up. All right, so next we wanna go to our add actions here. Okay, and we want to create a record, right? Because we wanna create a call report. Okay, and we wanna create a call. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the name here, create call, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna add our fields. All right, so let me just go back to my other screen here that I've got going on and, and open it up so I can just, uh, for reference, not forget anything. Okay, so the first one is the subject. And the subject is gonna be lead intro call, okay? And then we want to have this related to, okay? And instead of a value this time, we want it to pull a field from the lead, which is the ID, okay? So now the related ID is gonna be the ID of the lead. Uh, then we are going to set up a start date, okay? And there are a few different options here. It can be a field value, it can be a date. Um, so what we're gonna want is a field that's already in the lead. So the date created of the lead and well, it's not giving my giving me my value here. Um, let me just save this. I'm going to put it to inactive for a second here. Sometimes this happens. Okay, and then I'm just going to edit it again, and hopefully it gives me the option I'm looking for. Uh, okay, so uh, let's. Change. Oh, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I want it to be a date. <laughs> the, 
the date is the date created uh, plus let's say uh, two hours okay so it'll schedule the call for two hours after the lead is created okay um, or if you want it can be you know the next day plus one day whatever your system is for follow-up okay so um, but typically if your leads are coming in from your website and getting created you're gonna want to kind of follow up like you know immediately okay <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's that one, uh, and then we're gonna add another field, and we want this assigned to a person. Okay, so we can pick somebody from uh, the list of of people in the database. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick myself. Okay, but you can also do, um, for example, if the field. Uh, you could probably pick the assign to in the lead okay so that the, whoever the lead is assigned to gets assigned the call okay um, or you could do round robin so it'll just go through all the users and do one by one by one by one okay or you could do all users in a specific role so if you had a role of like let's say sales um, it would go one by one by one all the way through the role okay uh, least busy uh, again, same idea, except it would, I guess, assign to the, I've never actually used that one, but it would go to the person with the least amount of calls assigned. Okay, and again, it could be all users or users in the specific role, um, or it could be random, it just pick anybody, either all users or in a specific role. Um, but we're just gonna do it uh, to a specific person and I'm gonna assign it to me, okay? So uh, that's how that all works. And then also in a call record, we're going to want a status. Okay. So status is planned. Okay. And we're going to want a contact here to associate with it. And we're going to associate it with a field in the, in the lead record, which is the contact ID. Okay. And we are going to want a direction for the call, and it's going to be outbound, okay? Because they're not calling us, we're calling them. And then we're going to want to add here a parent type because there's a there's a pick field there that says what it, what is it related to, and the parent is a lead, and then the lead is what it's related to, okay? So we are going to select here parent ID. Um, or sorry, parent type is what we're looking for. And the parent type is a lead. OK. Um, and then we are going to do one other thing here, which is we are going to add a relationship. OK. And we are going to want to add a relationship to that lead. Okay. Uh, so we go here, we find leads to leads. And we want to relate it based on the field ID. Okay. So now that this call report is going to be related to the lead based on the lead ID. Okay. So uh, let's uh, save this. Okay. And so far, so good. If you see a big white screen or a 500 error, you know you've done something wrong. <laughs> um, let's change this to active, okay? And I'm gonna just save that again. Uh, cancel, sorry here, my, my camera is in the way of my screen. Uh, let me just do it this way. Active, okay. All right, so uh, in my demo environment here, I don't have my scheduler running by cron jobs. That's gonna be a key factor to make uh, most of your workflows work. You wanna make sure you have your cron job and your scheduler set up to run the cron jobs um, going. I think this one will um, probably run because it'll go on the, it'll kick off on the creation of the new record and won't need the scheduler. Um, but let's uh, see if I can test this. If not, I may have to pause and come back and set up the scheduler and show you that it works, okay? 
So let's uh, create a lead and Mr. Dave testing, okay. Um, and then I think I need testing account and then I need an email address and I'm just gonna go uh, email at example.com, okay. Um, and then when I save this, um, the lead status here is going to be new, but just in case I'm going to make it new. Okay, so let's save this guy. Okay, and everything worked out pretty good. Okay, it didn't need the scheduler for this one because it runs on save. Okay, so there's my uh, lead intro call. So let's just have a look at that and make sure it's set up everything the way that um, we wanted it to. Okay. All right, so uh, we've got a lead intro call. Uh, we have it outbound, and we have it as uh, the lead here is that it's related to is Dave testing. Uh, oh, I think I forgot my duration, or it didn't work out properly. Let me go check that, okay? Because I have the duration at zero minutes. So let me go back and check that. Um, assigned to administrator, okay, that worked out good. And you can see here it's related to Dave testing. So everything is working pretty good except for the duration. I think I forgot to enter that. Uh, let me go back and check. Uh, new lead follow up. And let's just edit that. And yes, you can see I forgot to add duration. So I'm going to add one more here. Um, uh, duration in minutes and I'll make it 15, okay? So um, that will correct that issue in the next one that gets created and the duration will automatically get set to 15. Um, but you can see how, you know, takes five, 10 minutes to set up a workflow at most. Some, some require more thoughts than others. Um, but in this case, you can see it's, it's all set up perfectly um, for a call. A uh, new lead got created and now I have to call them. Uh, and if you have calls set up on your dashboard, okay, um, you're gonna see uh, my calls. There's the lead intro call for Dave testing, okay, right there. Uh, and it all comes through properly. Okay, so that is the power of workflows. Um, and it's pretty simple. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, put them below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, also, as a reminder, I'm gonna put links to uh, my blog where I do a screen cap for you of uh, how to set this up and some, some other instructions. Uh, I'll also do a link to a blog post about all the different kinds of, of um, workflows you can add in Sweet CRM. And uh, hopefully sometime in the next little while, I'll, I'll try and do some more of these for you guys. Um, and if anybody has any ideas on um, uh, things they'd like to see me do a tutorial on, uh, please do so. Um, and again, just keep in mind, I'm doing this for like general everybody. So, uh, you know, to do a video on a very specific topic that like only one or two people might need is not something I'm gonna do a video on. <laughs> Okay, but I would appreciate your ideas. Put them in the questions or comments below. Um, and until next time, uh, thank you very much. And one last reminder, I do do this for a living. I help people set this up. I help them uh, document their sales process, their sales flow. I help them build websites. I help them do digital marketing to get leads onto their website and push through to their CP, uh, CRM. Um, I also help them do drip marketing campaigns to uh, nurture those leads. So if you need help with any of those things, uh, my contact information is below. Uh, I'd be happy to discuss it with you and see how I can help you. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.